Hello everyone and today I'm going to teach you how to install macOS Ventura on your PC or laptop. And the requirements would be 16 gig of USB disk. So preferably it has to be USB 3 for faster data transfer. And USB 2 can do also. And the next one would be the Ventura installer, the EFI folder, CPU-Z, Balena Etcher, and Minitool Partition. So all of the programs or tools that we're going to use will be provided in the description box of this video. From CPU-Z website, just scroll down, then click on 64-bit version of this setup. Click this one, then have it installed on your computer. Then the next one would be the Balena Etcher website. Click on uh, the Windows if you're using Windows, then click the download button, then install it on your computer. Then as well as the mini tool partition, have it installed on your computer. For the files, we will go to larila.com, then scroll down. Then head over to Ventura Olarila, then click on the media file link. Then, as well as the open core mod EFI folder. So, right click and open a new tab. On the first link, scroll down a bit, then click on free access. Then, click on this download button. Okay, then close the window. Then, on the next tab, Scroll down, then we will just need to open ZPUZ at this moment. Then head over to the CPU tab, then look for the code name. So I have here Kabylate. Okay, then let's go back to the browser. Then scroll down. So this is for the desktop if you're using desktop. And right now, I'm just using a Lenovo laptop, so that would be the notebook. Then I will just look for my version. So this is Kaby Lake. Then just click download here. Okay, so once everything is finished, so you can transfer it to your desktop. Okay, so here are the files that I have uh, downloaded and installed on my computer. Then for the EFI, you can right click, then extract, then extract, then you can delete the zip file, then let's drag it here. Now insert your USB to your computer, then open up Balena Etcher, then right now click on flash from the file. Then let's go to the desktop and click on the raw file of Larila. Then select target. Then select your USB. Then click on select. Then click on flash. So this will take some time. So I will just pause the video. Once it's done, just close Balena Etcher. Then head over to Minitool Partition Wizard. Click on launch application. Then look for your USB drive. So technically it's uh, this 14 gig. Then I will just click on the EFI partition. Right click, then delete. Then right click, create. Click yes. Partition label will be EFI. File system will be FAT32, then click OK, then apply, yes, then click OK, then minimize mini tool, then open up the EFI folder on your desktop, then copy all the files from this folder, then head over to your USB, then right click and paste it. 
let's close the window and going back to mini tool right click it again then change partition type then drop it as an EFI file system partition click yes then apply then yes click ok then close mini tool partition Right now, we need to go to Google and look for the BIOS key of your computer or your laptop. So, I will just type in my brand followed by BIOS key. So, we need to go to the BIOS settings of your computer. So, we will enable some of those settings for the Hackintosh to work. So, when I press the power button on my computer, so I need to press F1 five times at least. Then, I will go to the BIOS settings of my computer. And for the BIOS settings, we need to set this uh, settings on the computer. So the SATA should be AHCI, then Secure Boot should be disabled. CSM, you will need to disable this if you have AMD cards or similar. So let's go to the BIOS of my computer. So turn on your computer, then hit the BIOS key on your laptop. Then you can navigate the BIOS settings through your up and down arrow on your keyboard. Then let's go to the configuration. So right now I'm going to change the SATA control drive into AHC, AHCI, so press enter, then select AHCI, then for the security, scroll down to secure boot, you need to disable this one, then on the boot menu, we need to change our USB drive to the first menu, so you need to press uh, F6 for this one. Then scroll down to the exit, then exit saving changes. Press yes. Okay, so you need to go to Disk Utility, then Continue, then on the View, change it to All Devices, then select your disk that you want to install. So right now I have this 240 gig. So on the top, you need to click Erase, then you need to name it. Then EFS, format APS, FPFS, then scheme, GUID partition, then click erase, click done, now close the disk utility, then click on install macOS Ventura, then click continue. Then click continue. Click agree. Agree. Click on your disk. Then continue. So wait for it to finish. So right now the installation will proceed and the computer will reboot in four times in succession upon this installation just let it sit 
and finish all the installation then don't remove the usb drive on your computer then we will see you on the setup page so right now i'm going to set up the mac os on this part so you can skip then i will just set up everything then see you on the desktop Just open the file, then navigate to files, then load up ESP Mounter Pro. Then input your password, then close this one, close everything. Now click on the icon for the mounter, you need to mount the disk one which is the EFI folder of your hard disk or SSD, okay. Then click show all disk. Then we need to find the disk partition for your USB, which is this one. So click on mount. Then click on open. Okay, delete the one that is on your hard disk or SSD. Move it to the trash. Then from the one on your USB drive, make a copy. Then paste it here on the other side. Paste the item. and you can close everything and now you can remove your USB drive and your system will now boot directly onto your hard disk or SSD that's about it and thank you for watching and see you on our next video